Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. On behalf of the Rhode Island AFL-CIO, uh, we uh, oppose this legislation. I'm not going to reiterate the comments made by my brothers from the building trades earlier. But I think that, obviously, when you're doing your deliberations, you have to think about unintended consequences and this being a dangerous precedent. I think it, what it does is it increases the risks, the money, the time for every project potentially going forward in the state of Rhode Island. It's going to have a chilling effect on all future economic development projects, and I think it's going to undermine all of the efforts that have been made uh, in the past by this governor and by the General Assembly to create a vibrant econo uh, economy in our state. Uh, and this is just something that uh, I think will send a message that this is a very risky state to do business because they change the rules midstream. And I think that's a very devastating message. Thank you. Thank you very much, George. Um, I, oh, I, I looked over and I didn't see you. Hope, hope he doesn't ask me Any about questions? the ISO. <laughs> Any questions? So uh, thank you very much, George. Um,